Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Nights. Today we'll take another look into the charts and um, let's be honest, technical analysis wise, it looks very, very bad. Quick look on the S&P 500, looks kind of bad as well. All important on how the weekly opens um, on the ES1 futures. will open at midnight Central European time, uh, I believe if I'm correct. Dixie looking very strong, so that is a thing to keep in mind this week. Um, the Phoenix whale, quite big positions over here. All of them have been, um, well, quite profitable if we zoom out a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, he is, I guess it seems like sculpting a little bit, taking profit, adding a bit, stuff like that. Um, right now on a lower time frame, um, stuff is not looking that bad. You can see it over here in the four hour candles. Um, huge discounts, negative. Um, fundings so that gives hope uh, the more times support gets touched you know the weaker it gets um technical analysis wise but if everybody starts um um shorting the bottoms like they do over here with extreme discounts on um perpetuals uh, or futures um yeah that that basically gives chance for a short squeeze we had a little one over here last night. Everybody, you, you know, got stopped out of the short. Um, along the top, they're all out now. They're all shorting. Uh, everybody's short. So we can do it maybe again. Um, you know, if fundings go this extreme at bottoms, like over here, over here, we usually get a little bit of a bounce, uh, especially like over here or over here or over here. We're not that deep yet, but usually that is a good um, place for a bounce. So. I'm betting again on a bounce. Um, that is that fair, still very fearful. Fundings predicted and current ones still very negative. Current ones still um, kind of neutral, you know, on BitMEX, but predicted extremely negative. And Bybit, you know, negative. Those are the only two I look at. Ethereum, looking bad, um, needs to make a higher low over here. That's very important for Ethereum. Ethereum BTC as well. Uh, imper important for them to hold this level over here. If they go over here, it's over for Ethereum uh, BDC. We want to see that higher low. Um, same over here. We need that higher low. Very important. Uh, Matic. Well, looks like doom. Not gonna lie. This level all important for Matic. That is 70 cents basically. Um, if that one gives in, you know, Matic will endure some pain. Um, look at how high these boys went. Extremely high. Um, simple as that, you know, just horizontal Matic BTC. Man, look at that rise and look at that slow dead over here. Um, support for Matic, I mean, maybe over here, this one. Otherwise here, resistance, extremely clear over here, these bottoms. Uh, SRM showing some life over here, making a higher low compared to this one over here. So that is good for SRM, you know, the levels to watch um, first, I would say this one. And this is resistance. Very clearly, you just look at um, bottoms and highs over here. That makes it resistance. Um, also, you know, over here, these lows over here can be seen as resistance. <clears throat> you buy support you sell resistance that is that solana solana i mean i do not like the chart do not like the chart at all just looks bad not gonna lie once again however volume declining look at that volume over here um yeah it looks bad um not gonna lie if they make a lower close you know on the daily over here, for example, um, would be bad, but I mean, for now, on a lower time frame, you could punt in a little long. Resistance again on the one hour. It is for now a higher low. Take profit over there, stop over there, and that is basically how you do it. Just some points. Uh, you just look at recent highs, recent lows. 
um, that is that over here you know you can see the in the bottom one over here you can see the bit phoenix wheel playing um, pushing uh, bit phoenix into big um, premium sometimes over 70 dollars uh, if he's taking uh, well profit basically and um, if he's you know dumping it's it's basically pushing it uh, back in discount um, towards coinbase so that's very very funny to see um, over here you know on tops we can see a little bit of a premium uh, on bitfinex of oh, sorry bitmax towards um, coinbase and right now it's really coinbase again compared to bitmax holding that stuff up so everybody's shorting again on bitmax and bybit which is funny to see uh, over here there was uh, maintenance being done on bitfinex so not really um yeah accurate that time um and that is about that for bitcoin i am targeting upside you know stop just on 31k um might be you know a good spot to get hunted a little bit below and then shoot up or just break down from here what we really need is higher highs um you know this is one level and this is one level you can draw it all the way up and then this is i would say the most important level right now 36 35 ish you know over here there's an area over here these highs we need to get above them this trend line we need to get above it um, on a lower time frame we had a little bit of a breakout where we were looking at yesterday on the 15 minute i think it was ah uh, never mind guys make sure to follow me um leave a like leave a a comment let me know what you guys think um for now you know the videos are kind of boring not much is happening and uh, i'm just repeating a little bit every day the last three days i would say um but nothing is really happening this is not a thing you can scallop really uh, we're just going sideways i i look at fundings over here fundings go very negative that's the time for me to buy uh lower lows you know for me is an exit point but uh, for now you know you just buy dips sell at resistance buy support sell resistance simple as that not much going on i'm way better in a trending market but it's not the case now so make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment for better times see you guys